<laughs> Guess what time it is? It's music time. <laughs> oh, I guess that actually works for an intro. We did it! Hey, I was gonna intro. say, like, it's time to do an intro, and I don't know what they're doing. We'll do that for the intro. Oh. Hey guys! Guess what time it is? It's music time! It's music time! Well, on my channel, it's always music time. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Not anyway, for me. today we've got an interesting video because my lovely fiance, soon to be wife, Audrey. <laughs> totally didn't almost forget your name there. <laughs> <laughs> T minus two weeks, what's her name? <laughs> I, I know Audrey's name, I promise. Today, she is teaching me how to play her flute. Yeah, um... Or going to try to teach me how to play Spencer, her flute. you know how to play three instruments, right? Yep, I can play piano, cello, and guitar, but I've never attempted a woodwind instrument. Oh, that's true. Well, so, I, mean, I guess least... I've attempted playing saxophone. My dad's, really? like, kind of ta taught me how to play saxophone. Saxophone is hard, because with it the reed like... and stuff, you're like... <laughs> well, I guess that's more oh, wow. trumpet. That but... sounds like an elephant! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go! All right, guys, you may notice that the venue... You like saying that. I like venue. I like the word <laughs> venue. I don't know what else to call it. You can tell that the location is a little different today. Today we're in Audrey's room, and I feel like that makes sense to me because Audrey's teaching me on, like, her own turf. I am the alpha. Yeah. <laughs> she knows what she's doing here. So, let's see it. What okay. am I doing? Okay, here's the flute. That's the cleaning crap. Ta-da! I want you to put it together. Oh. <laughs> don't put that There's on me. stuff inside of these okay. two. I know this is the mouth hole thingy. Good job. I know that's this is what you blow into. Yep. I know that much. Right. <gasps> Ooh. Other way, but yeah, oh. same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Close enough. Um is this you take that out. That's just to help preserve, I think, like, the keypads and stuff. Ooh, it's fluffy. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it as I much like as it. I do. <laughs> do you enjoy that, too? Yes, it's kind of fun. So you said it goes okay, this so... way? No, other way. <laughs> this way. So I okay, tried so... putting it all on this way. It doesn't fit, so I'm assuming it goes this way. Yes, and um, this is how you tune it. So what? What? that's going to be... Really, either sharp or flat, I don't remember. You have to tune a yes. flute? Bruh! It's like every instrument! I didn't know so, you could actually tune them. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh, they get it out of tune easy. Interesting. So, um, I you probably can't tell. It's very small, but I, like, whenever I find, like, a good place that my flute is, like, not too sharp or not too flat, I make, like, a little mark on it. So, so is it right, based on how far you put the thing, the yeah, piece on? Yeah. Oh, okay. So I have like a pencil mark and it's, it's like barely visible, but it's like right here. So this is generally where my flute is most in tune. So then I just like draw hmm. on the instrument. I'm learning new things already. Yeah. So then every time I go to put my flute, I don't have to play a guessing game. I just go. Interesting. Yep. Okay. Learn thing number one. Flutes can be tuned, and it depends on how far the, the mouthpiece, the head, yeah. has been pushed into the button tube. Yes. <laughs> what is this actually called? I just call it the body. The body. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> Which not... makes sense, because when it comes to, like, wind instruments, mm -hmm. like, if you guys, like, have you guys ever blown into, like, just a pipe of some sort? Like, you just take a tube. That's basically what this is. And, like, you whack it or you blow into it. The longer it is, the lower... Um, or is it more thin? I don't know what I'm talking about. Maybe the longer it is, the higher it is. Anyway, the length always changes the pitch. So it makes sense yes. that how far this is pushed down into the body changes what note it naturally plays. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do with and my phalanges on this. And you want to line up the uh, mouth hole with the finger pads. So I think it's lined up. Kay. If not, you can adjust it. Where do I put my thumbs on this I'll thing? tell you, but like, we got to put okay. the end piece on. Um, <laughs> well, you judging to... off of this thing, I know I need to take okay, this Okay, God, I thought you were going to stick it in. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> judging by this connector piece right here. Oh, if you can focus. This one has like these little 
like ridges on it so I'm assuming that this also with metal ridges is what attaches on no. <laughs> oh they both have metal ridges dang it I didn't see that dang. good try good try okay I and was then... being so smartly but then I realized after I tried it they actually both have the same metal ridges so that logic doesn't really check out yeah Okay. And so what orientation is this supposed to go? It's in? about like you. Is that well, thing like supposed right to there? Okay. So the line of the pipe thing what matches with this. Okay, you ready to? I want to see how you hold it first. I just want to see what you what your natural instinct. Oh my. <laughs> like I don't know. Does my thumb go right there? I just want to see what your natural instinct is first before, because I've never like done this with a new person. Like this. This. Okay, then hold it up. Like this. <laughs> okay, no. I know. But you were like kind of close. Like you Kay. have your arm right this way. At least you weren't like this. <laughs> That'd be so awkward. Like no. your wrist. Okay, so for your Where first the heck hand, does my thumb go? your thumb goes right here. Okay. Your thumb goes on this one. There's so many holes. So like I understand why you're like, what the heck? And then your first finger goes right here. Second finger goes here. Third and then fourth goes right here. But this isn't always on. Okay. Like, the, your pinky just kind of dangles, unless it needs the A. This is A flat. Okay. And then, for your other hand, first finger goes here. Okay. Second finger, third finger, and then fourth finger is this one. Okay. So. What's so this fun. little dilly do for? Um, that's your other pinky finger. That's oh, what opens. Okay. Yeah, there's lots of... And, like, your fingers are gonna move sometimes. Like, this pinky can go here and here. This is, like, a rolly one, kind of. Hmm. Um, like, is it, <laughs> it's like an actual roller piece. Oh, yep. that's cool. Yep. And then this thumb can move here sometimes, depending on what All right. you need. So thumb first, mm -hmm. second, mm -hmm. not here, here. Mm -hmm. Why? I don't know. Just cause. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know. All... It's just what that's we were taught to do. To... <laughs> and pinky finger just kind of dangles unless you need this thing. Yes. And then first, 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 first. Um, right here. First. Second, third, and fourth on this level. Yes. Delete. Yay! Okay. You did it. Good I can job, hold Sydney. a flute now. I think. This just mm -hmm. feels wrong. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, when I learned how to play cello, when I learned how That's to hold true. it correctly, it also felt foreign and weird. So, mm -hmm. pro tip if you're learning how to play instruments, if you are. Well, I can't say. Hmm, I was gonna say if if it feels weird while you're holding it, then you're holding it correctly. But no, that couldn't always be true. It but it is normal for it to feel weird. Yeah, because it's, it's new. new. So, pro tip in learning instruments. Okay, do I always have this thing pushed down, or am I supposed to just kind of like? Um, I generally hold them. Like. Like when I yeah have Just, a push down have a push down okay. but like your fingers are gonna be open and closed depending on what note you want to play. So they're always down, but like to yes. play notes. Oh. Rather than pushing buttons down, you're like lifting up. Um, kind of. Here, okay. let me show you. Okay, so I have a few papers here for Spencer. I don't even know if I can even make a note out of this thing. That was beautiful. Okay, you need to teach me how to make a good note. I will. Okay, so I have, I gave Spencer this fingering chart. This is what I've used when I learned to play the flute. This is so handy. I recommend printing one out. Also, I gave him the major scales. And I'm glad you already have a background in music because I don't have to teach you treble clef. Yeah. Which is so nice. You just have to learn the instrument now to read it. Yep. And then if he's feeling which up to it. is another thing. Honestly, you guys. Learning your first instrument is the hardest. Every instrument that comes after is actually easier. Oh, that's Because true. you already have experience in music. That's true. Yeah. Fun fact. Okay. Oh, and then I have these papers too. These are um, sheet music if he's feeling up to it. This is the easiest music I could find without like printing out something new. Okay. Let's help you play the easiest note. Well, how do you play a B flat? Where is that? Okay, this is, that is the what fingering. A flute is tuned to. Um, or just the easiest note to play. The flute is typically tuned. Well, it depends. Everyone tunes it different. You can tune it to a B flat or an A. 
but so usually in class we do an A. So, but I usually my yeah. Let's just do B flat. What does that chart mean? So these. I have are no the, idea. Oh what yeah, <laughs> these are. I don't. The, I don't know what that's trying to tell. This me. is what I'm trying to tell them. Oh, can you guys see it? Focus, focus. Okay, this is the fingering for B flat, and so this is what Spencer's looking at. Okay, this. so what this means is these are the dark holes are the ones you're pressing down on. Mm -hmm. Everything else, you your fingers are floating. Okay. So this is your first finger. Okay, that's yeah. down. And then this is your first finger of this hand. Okay, that's down. And this is your thumb. Down. Yep. Kay. And then this is your pinky. Down. Yes, Kay. that's B flat. Okay, well, you picked a fitting note for me to start on because this note's gonna be flat. <laughs> Can you have a music lesson video without any puns? Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, you have to teach me how to make a good note first. Okay, so... Is that what the note was supposed kind to be, or is that like a kinda. alternate? So you want to blow like, thing. like. So your airstream is going down. <laughs> so, yes, that's. Oh! I did it. So that's the. the I play flute now. Yeah, that was the B flat in the the one I was trying to teach you. The you can also play that B flat an octave higher with the same fingering. An octave higher with the same fingering. Yeah, and that uh, becomes that becomes. That's why you guys is freaking. And so that, wind instruments so, are weird because you can change notes based on how you're blowing. Yes, and so in the beginning when your thing was like, it's because you were in between the high note and the bottom note. So if you add a little bit more pressure. You're almost there. Ooh. Yeah, that's the high one. Oh! <laughs> Dang it, I tried. <laughs> that sounded like a recorder. Uh, that that's not a good a thing. <laughs> I keep taking my fingers off and forgetting where they go. <laughs> okay. Okay. What else? Um, What's the next easiest thing to play? Um, how about we have you go up? You could do a C. So it's your first finger and then your pinky finger. And okay. That's it. How do I hold this without pushing it in like that? Um, take your thumb off. Yeah. Wait. I gotta. I gotta hold it to remember. <laughs> so I just hold it like this. Like, you could touch it, but just don't press. That's what I find so hard, is, like, yeah, holding it without... you touch it, but just don't press. Pressing that? <laughs> how do you, like... Wait. Oh, oh, how do I hold it between, <laughs> like... Let me show you what Spencer's gonna do. Okay. Alright, so... Uh, there's this... a lot of weight on my, on my right thumb This right is now. the fingering for C. have everything for them. I think. Wait, are you pushing down on your thumb? Oh, I think I had that pushed down. <laughs> yeah. Right? I think so. Okay, I think it's just this one and this one that's pushed down, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't hold it with that. Just being like... <laughs> Guys, I'm... Okay, I'm... How do you hold this without pushing that button down? I guess I have to explain the camera. I've, I've played flute... For I've played flute for like know. seven years, all through middle school and high school, and then um, I stopped after high school. So like I haven't been playing consistently for two years. <laughs> Aha! That was B flat and then C. Good job. Aha! Haha. <laughs> yeah. But okay. anyways, I feel like I could teach you, but I'm I feel like I I keep questioning myself because I'm like, wait, is this actually yeah. how you do it? Another thing guys is that 
teaching someone how to play something and learning how to do it yourself are two very different things. <laughs> teaching something requires like it's hard. A whole like you have to know the thing so well to be able to teach it yeah. effectively. Yeah. Like so it's difficult. All right. Well, I think we're going to wrap it up there. I don't think I was skilled enough to get to the songs, <laughs> but you taught me how to play a couple notes. Yeah, there you go. Then you can work on your scales next. Okay. We'll keep learning how to play flute. <laughs> Okay, if you want to. I um, actually might. I feel like it'd be kind of fun. I've always wanted to learn a woodwind instrument, and now I've got a flute nearby and a teacher. So I was surprised your parents both know how to play the flute. Yeah, both my parents were also band kids, and my dad can play, like, saxophone, trumpet, and I guess flute, according to someone. <laughs> I didn't know my dad could also play flute, and then my mom can play French horn. Is a French a French horn and a mellophone aren't Not quite the, the same. same, but they're similar. I think so. Okay, so she can play those and flute. I think. Yeah, they I both. Think that's what they played. Yeah. But yeah, they're they're woodwind peoples. Oh, I said saxophone, right? For my dad. So. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it is surprising that being so close to woodwind instruments in my own home, you you'd never think <laughs> I would have learned how to play them. Nah. I mean, I tried learning saxophone and trumpet a little bit. I've, I know how to make a sound on a saxophone and a trumpet. I, I haven't really been taught how to make a sound on a flute. I've been, I played, or I like picked up the clarinet and the trumpet like once, and I was like, this ain't for me. Yeah. I almost did the French horn. Really? Mm -hmm. Hmm. But then I really wanted to do the flute, so. It's a pretty instrument. And it, yeah. Flutes are pretty. Anyway, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Hit that red button down in the corner. It has a white subscribe on it. It's a pretty cool button. You should you should push it. <laughs> Press the red button. <laughs> and make sure you hit the like button and comment down below with any suggestions you have for my videos. And yeah, bye. bye. You said the same thing I told ya. My eyes are clear, there's no secret. I wanna know.